All right, everybody, right behind me on this whiteboard is the seven key masculinity traits that you are going to need as a man. And I learned all of these through going through trials and tribulations and headache over the past 10 years and doing things wrong in life. So that way you don't have to. Okay, I've now been in this space for over four or five years on the internet helping guys with these things. And because of that, I can help you literally to the utmost. And these topics are going to challenge your belief system, even compared to any other content creator out there, helping you with women, dating, female nature, any of that. These principles are going to serve you far better in the long run and help you get ahead. Now, after this video is done for an even deeper understanding, okay, I want you to go down below and register for the MBT webinar, okay? I crafted an exact process to show you the exact masculinity triggers that women respond to on a primal level. Okay, that way you can actually take real concepts, apply them to the modern day dating game, and these are tactics and principles that will never go out of style. This will, like, throughout any time, I don't care if it's five years, 10 years down the road, these will work. And that's why I created that, so check that out below. But nevertheless, Okay, we need to go through all seven of these. And we do because they're all equally important. And this is gonna be a long video, but this will help you, your masculinity, your dating journey, your income, and everything in between. Okay, I want you to be a strong, well-crafted individual. So, number one, okay, the very first thing that you gotta realize if you wanna win, your her beauty, okay, can't stray your discipline. I'm gonna say that again, beauty cannot stray your discipline. See, 99% of men completely fall to a beautiful woman and fall as in they turn into mush, okay? Her beauty cannot hold any weight. The second it holds weight, okay, you lose your strength. And this is how you have to operate. Everybody wants to talk about high value, high value, high value. Well, okay, they want you to do everything on the materialistic. Okay, they want you to get more money, get more status, get more success. That doesn't fix the internal. The internal high value only comes on a level where you realize that you are stronger than beauty. Okay, you're, you're stronger than the, the desires of your own eyes. Okay, I'll give you an example. I see a lot of guys, okay, they want to make more income. They start working, okay, they fall in love with some beautiful woman or something like that. They get into a relationship, their income plummets. Okay, I have seen this happen. I actually created an entire second channel this year just to show specific business processes. Literally, I did that so that way you, on an even deeper level, I can help serve you, okay, even with certain things like making more income, doing that. So you can check that out right here. It's called Xander Consulting. I made that brand new for this year. Okay, number two. Here's what you have to understand. Okay, S3 actual temptation makes you weak. S3, okay, I don't know if you can say the word on YouTube, I don't care, S3, actual temptation makes you weak. Here's what I can tell you, you need to stop rewarding promiscuity. Okay, when you stop rewarding promiscuity, you finally start to see the own, the, your own value that you have as a man. This is something most guys don't have. So here's what you gotta realize, every time you reward promiscuity, Okay, every time you sleep with a new girl just because you think she's hot, every time you double tap some Instagram photo of some big booty cutie, every time you pay for some subscription you shouldn't be paying for, what that does is that equals you putting her on the pedestal. I don't care what any other content creator tells you about if you're high value, you can sleep with all these girls and stuff. Okay, you do that, you gotta realize you, like your value is going to get con consistently diminished because anybody can have you. And you're also a slave to your own desires. Like you, you're not disciplined in life. You're willing to fall to anything, okay? When you actually realize that S3 actual temptation makes you weak, you finally understand as a man what it means to be strong. So here's what I can tell you, okay? What you need to do when you're interacting with people in general, women, women, men, well, I don't, I don't care, okay? They need to bring other qualities to the table. Okay, if you're only looking at how attractive are they to the physical eye and what they can bring to the bedroom, you're going to be sorely mistaken when you realize that you are still a slave to your own de desire. So here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you this straight up. Over the past five, 10 years, as I've leveled up my income, I've leveled up my life, okay, I've gotten to a better spot where I wanna be. Okay, all the time. I mean all the time, multiple times per week, I'll get scandalous photos from women like I didn't even ask for these photos. I didn't like, I didn't even ask for them to be presented to me. I won't even reply. See, I'm gonna tell you this. Most guys, if they were to get photos like this, it would be, ooh, baby, baby this and constantly validating women and stuff. No, when you understand that you cannot reward this type of behavior, you'll actually force a better quality of relationship and a better expectation of all the women that you actually date or that come into your life. And you'll start to actually screen for what it is that you want. Okay, that brings me to point number three. Stop hyper. S3 actualizing women. Here's what happens when you do this. 
Okay, the first thing is that it obviously makes you weak because you are once again falling to temptation. But not only that, okay, this makes you fearful of girls. Do you know how many guys, be, like because they watch all of this crap on the computer, okay, they are constantly looking at pictures they shouldn't be looking at, giving girls frivolous attention that they don't deserve, validating them just through the promiscuity or the look of their body. Okay, here's what that does. It makes you fearful of women because all that's at the forefront of your brain is what happens in the bedroom. So these guys don't have any real life experience talking to girls, hanging out with a girl, acting like a normal human. No, instead they're focused on this. I'm gonna tell you this. Here's the void not talked about by any of the content creators in the dating space that you watch. The void not talked about either because they're scared it'll hurt business, they're scared how it'll be perceived in the eyes of the public, they're scared to tell you the truth, is the void that comes after you sleep with a lot of women. See, the reason why this isn't talked about is because people know that that's what everybody wants deep down is the quick, easy thrill in the bedroom, but what's not talked about is the void that comes after that. You know on a deep down level that what you did was wrong. And see, 99% of men feel that emptiness, but they don't talk about it because they are scared that they'll be perceived as weak. You have to erase this mental conditioning. Okay, this brings me to point number four. You have to scrap your broken beliefs on money. Okay, that's why brand new for this year, I opened up that secondary channel, Xander Consulting, to help you actually achieve wealth and real financial freedom. But your broken beliefs on money hold you back. Okay, a masculine man with vision and purpose in his life knows and understands the importance of creating value. Here's what I mean by that. Not only is money important, but I personally believe that God wants me rich. God wants me rich and God wants me wealthy. God wants you rich and God wants you wealthy. God doesn't want you to have to sit and suffer all day. God doesn't want you slaving away working for some nine to five that you absolutely hate that's soul crushing. Why would God want you in that predicament? I'm gonna ask you that question. So here's what you can understand. Money equals value. If somebody's willing to pay you for anything, it's because they see value in you. So here's what you start to realize. The more money you make, typically the more people you've helped. The more people you've helped, the more people you've served. The more people you've served, the more value you've, you've given, the more skill sets you have. This is a good thing. Yet so many men are apprehensive to go out there in the real world and create some value. Whether that be creating anything, providing a service, okay, helping somebody in need, understanding that the marketplace needs you and you have God-given skill sets you can apply. Why would you want to sit in some dead-end occupation that isn't going to actually level the playing field to help you get ahead? You have to erase these broken beliefs on money. Money is good and money is meant to improve your life. A masculine man can create wealth for himself. That is very important. I fundamentally believe that on the deepest of level and it makes me who I am and I encourage you. When you live that way, you will watch your own life become better. Okay, number five. Fifth thing. You have to realize the fifth level of masculinity right here. Realize that you reward exactly what you complain about. See, this really, this really irks me in a lot of different ways because so many men will complain about modern female nature. These are still the men who are trying to sleep with women or they're the first ones once they get a girl who's interested to go and try to sleep with her. Yet these are the guys complaining about female nature. You have to understand right now in life, the most promiscuous women are the ones who are rewarded. The most promiscuous women are the ones who are rewarded with the high value men. The high value men who make good income, understand how to have skill sets in life, look good, take care of themselves. These men are rewarding bad behavior. So it starts with you as the leader. If you tell yourself you're a masculine man, you're a leader, then you have to stop rewarding opposite behavior of what it is that you're wanting. Yet most men are too weak to do this. See, even the men you deem as high value are still 99%ers locked in that mindset. This takes a different level of understanding what it means to be a man. And most people will never get to this point. So here's what you gotta realize. The people who claim they hate promiscuity are the first men to ask for pictures. These are the first men to ask for scandalous photos. These are the first men to start to wanna to talk dirty to women. And if you're going to arouse that instinct in them to be naughty or to play bad, then stop, stop, stop expecting the world to change case. Stop, stop, stop rewarding exactly what you complain about. You're, you're not going to live a happy life doing that. You're going to feel worse about yourself. So. Number six, okay. Masculine men have high self-esteem because they actually have specific boundaries they live by in life. This could be moral boundaries. This could be, be ways that they feel about discipline. This can be things that they will or they, these will be things that they will not break no matter what. 
So here's what you gotta realize. There are certain men who claim they live away until they get a girl who they feel is attractive enough and then if she's wanting him to make a concession, he breaks it. See, you can't do this. You have to actually sit down with a list, write down what it is that you believe in what you believe in about the world, what you believe in morally, if you're stay disciplined, and why you're not going to break these codes that you made for yourself for anybody. So you gotta know where you want to go in life. And if you know where you want to go in life, you will get ahead, you just have to trust the process, which brings me to point number seven. You have to realize that you can't fill your void with anything in life. You're not going to be able to fill the void that you feel every single day with anything materialistic, you're not going to be able to fill the void with any person. There's no one specific relationship or specific woman that's going to fill that void. You could sleep with a thousand women. That void is still going to be there until you understand that these levels of masculinity comes down to your inner beliefs and are more nuanced than you realize. And I could give you all the materialistic things that you wanted in the world and you'd still be miserable until you actually shift the paradigm and you think about this from a different level, it's going to be very, very hard to get ahead. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Okay, be sure to check out that secondary Xander Consulting channel on top of that, go down below right now. Okay, if you agree and you align with these concepts of masculinity I'm producing for you, I want you to actually go and see the four key masculinity triggers in that webinar below. We're gonna show you how to find, attract, Okay, understand how to keep the relationship stable and even have her pursuit so that way you can get ahead and that way you can come from a standpoint of abundance and not being dependent. We'll see you in the next one.